Pro MX 2024, first track day of the season. Pretty noisy. Track's looking great though. We got the YZ450F ready to roll. A new ECU, new stator. Put some uh, grips on it. Got some anchor tape on there. I'm thinking that looks pretty sick. I like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of my first moto footage in here so you can see how bad the day started off for me, trying to get back on the bike after the winter and get used to riding dirt again. And uh, I'm not gonna bore you with a ton of crappy footage, but I just want you to see how bad the day started and then we can see my progression as the day goes on and go from there, you know? the first moto uh didn't go so well feels real weird being on that type of dirt and uh it is so difficult to transition from my dual sport to the mx bike but i felt like i was starting to get the hang of it a little bit towards the end so i think after a few motos i'll be feeling a lot better but that was kind of a nightmare pretty scary actually um it just sucks up here in new england because we don't get to ride for like five six months and then when you get back out on the bike, you're so rusty just because I'm not good enough, I don't think, to maintain like my skill. So if I'm not riding all the time, I start to lose it. And then when I get back on the bike, it's really it's like starting over a little bit, which sucks. I wish I could ride, you know, year round and just keep building on my skill set rather than like having to reset every freaking spring. But it is what it is. And uh, hopefully we'll get better throughout the day. you guys want to help support this channel all you have to do is go down in the description click on the Amazon link and buy anything you were gonna buy anyway but if you're looking for moto related gear I have everything sorted into categories that you guys can browse with tons of good stuff go check that out all right moto 2 went substantially better starting to feel comfortable again ready to do moto 3 I'm gonna to try to practice some fundamentals I'm not really gonna push myself out there I find you know being a YouTuber sometimes you push yourself because you want to make cool content and stuff and it's like I know nobody wants to watch people suck at, at motocross but I mean I am what I am I'm at the level I'm at 
Well, I forgot to record my third moto, so I'm gonna go out for a short fourth one here, because I can't end the video like that.